In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at all the shortcuts that are that are important, that matter. Okay. So we have this right mouse click, display keybinds in new window. I am filming on Arch Labs in a virtual box and my right screen, dual screen, my right screen has all the keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going over all of these. In order to show you as well, and in the meantime, I can learn you how to install them. Don't be afraid of all the scripts that are in here. So if you know France, you can install France, the font manager, USB, ISO, Writer, Google Earth, G Radio, Music, and so on. I do have something for you to make your life a bit easier. And it's down here somewhere, the screen key. Right mouse kick, open terminal here. And all you have to do is type inst, is enough, tap, and then screen key. And we're going to install a little utility. Is already installed. There's so much the better. So this little script, do check out if something is installed already and no skip it if it's already installed. So my apologies, it's already in order. So sorry you won't see it run, install, but we'll see it run. Screen key has been started preferences have been set as well show shift and one second is enough so each time i will press my shortcuts which the first one is ctrl alt m so ctrl alt m is where i've put this little thing open box arch labs open box is going to use some of the elements from xfce so we have to have a way to change these things and the most important things have been put in here so the things to configure everything here preferences everything here and the system is here but this is well an overview of the, all the stuff that's in there not all of them can be changed not all of them are applicable but some of them can be used okay that's one of things I'm just going from top to bottom um, and skipping the things I don't think that are important then restarting open box is quite important, right? Mouse click. From time to time we've changed something, we want to test it again, or oh, where is it here and there? Like you see, I'm looking for it. I don't need to look anything anymore. I don't need to figure out where is it at again in my menu, but I'm going to activate a keyboard shortcut. The keyboard shortcut is Control Shift Backspace. You see everything change again. You see everything change. Open box has been restarted. Okay. What's also very interesting, and if you don't have it, we really should use it. What I recommend is the following keyboard shortcuts. It's a, it's a combination, it's a family. I have this keyboard, which has a numeric keyboard pad to the right. So numlock and all numbers and errors. I have this, and if you have it, it's so easy to manage your windows around. What I do is press Windows key, super key, and then to the keypad, one is this, super one, super four, super seven, super eight, super nine, I'm going around the clock, super six, super three, super two, and don't forget super number five. Maximalizing, these are so useful to move around the system and as you can see there's no problem it's quite fast if we're talking about that maybe i should mention as well the super arrow up super arrow down super to the right super to the left to the left to the left to the right to the right to the right to the right so things are possible with the windows key and arrows and numeric path great I would suggest you take these as standard. Then we have all the buttons for the sound on your keyboards. I'm gonna skip those. Then we don't need this anymore. We have wallpapers. We have variety. If we do not have variety yet, we should run it. So uh, let's do, for instance, Windows D and you see another shortcut and we see variety. We start variety. Then we get this little icon down here 
and we get our wallpapers from desktopper as you can see they are coming from desktopper you can have next previous previous was this one and now all the fun starts you get wallpapers in without doing anything variety getting is getting wallpapers from desktopper and i haven't done anything yet and this is already what i've got all these wallpapers have been downloaded that's quite a nice one and all wallpapers have been uh, downloaded and this was also a nice one a fun one close let's assume that i like this one then i press alt f and the alt f is favorites it's going to put this wallpaper in my dropbox and it's never lost again it's in there when i press alt to the right key then we get another wallpaper say i don't like it i press alt t it's trashed i'll never see it again don't like this either alt t and then what was the previous again alt p is previous alt next is the next one alt uh, left key is the previous also and alt arrow up is let's keep this uh, as it is i want this wallpaper for the rest of the day and alt arrow down is resume changes again so those are all the variety stuff nice then we have the windows pause so there is a super and there's a pause break key which gives me this choice okay eric all you want to do cancel log out restart shut down suspend hibernate with my sardi ob logout keys so the keys have been imported to have a special kind of logout okay so this is windows pause break interesting how to start a system how to shut down a system what else Control alt key we're gonna need this one Control alt key is setting our keyboard shortcuts we don't like a keyboard shortcut in another tutorial i'll just tell you you don't like variety minus n and you would like to have another shortcut you can change it here so Control alt keys the k and then it's just a choice and my choices are actually coming from i3wm so windows f1 super f1 wait for it there you go super f2 super f3 that's gonna take a bit longer voila so all these things you just check out they're all applications that are starting under the super key okay scroll down Control shift escape you know the shortcuts it's on the other system you know so Control shift escape is going to do this thing okay skipping 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 a lot of programs then windows return windows return is a nice one it's going to start gnome terminal once i have installed it again forgot to install it i did not forget it it's a choice when you install gnome terminal it's not transparent when when you install gnome terminal transparency from the aur then it's transparent so rather than doing first thing and then the second thing i'm gonna install gnome terminal aur later on so ctrl t same thing it's going to ask to install gnome terminal then um pop -pum. shift windows return so super key shift enter sorry here otherwise in my other system it opens nemo this is nemo this is the look of nemo okay so windows enter terminal windows shift enter nemo two things we really need file manager and a terminal what else I'm gonna kill Nemo as you can see there is nothing um, no possibility to get to my menu of open box again there was a trick spacebar and super key there it is again there is the menu or control alt n and Nemo is killed and we have everything back what else we've done already the Windows D and the windows shift d for the 
menus. Skipping, skipping. All kind of prints have been made. If you press print key, then you make a screenshot with this program. If you make a control print screen, you take a screenshot with that program. If you break an alt print screen, you just take a print screen. So it's already safe now. Of course, alt tab, alt tab and Windows tab are going over menus that works Another programs wl is maybe something i need to explain windows l it's new it's something different so the slim lock has been changed by me i thought oh, is it possible to change the wallpaper i just took one of my wallpapers and now this is my login screen and i have to type oops i have to type my password in it and that's it so I have this new login screen, Windows L or Super L. This is one of the programs, but um, it's an, one of the important programs. Thank you, Variety, for providing me with a wallpaper. Windows V, Super V, is our volume control or PayVo pay uh, control. And it's telling you which devices you have and, and changes eventually if you want to change something here. So the V, Windows V, Windows X is getting out, getting rid, so this works as well. Windows pause break and Windows X, Super X, those things are means, are means to get out of the system. Windows Escape, quite interesting. We have a little program that we're looking at and we say it's, it's hanging, it doesn't want to do anything anymore. Windows Escape gives our skull and bones and we kill the program that we don't want to use. So this is the standard X kill, which is then in the Windows Escape. Windows Space, of course, one of the most important things you should remember. We're almost at the bottom. This may be something as well. Control alt a Since we do in uh, build some of our elements on XFC, we can also use the application finders if you're really stuck and you don't know the name because you often need to know the name what you want to run and you don't know that, then you just can go over it like you used to in other distros and say what was the name again and check out what applications are installed after all these scripts. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's uh, the most important ones. There are other, of course, but you can check them out. Where do we check them out? Display key bindings in a new window and just one by one test them out, see what you like. And if you want to change or delete it, it's the OB menu key or the OB key better and Control Alt key. And there you are in the OB key. Have fun checking out all the possibilities and changing. Uh, keys if you want to that's in another tutorial